Good morning and welcome to our service of mourning and lament for those who have died from coronavirus. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. Out of the depths I have called you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, where could I stand? For there is forgiveness in you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him. In his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchman for the morning, more than the watchman for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, with him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let per light perpetual shine upon them. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. God of our weary years and silent tears. We lift up our hearts in praise to you. You alone are able to receive the hailstorm of our tears and the torrential rain of our grief. Over the sudden death of nearly 100,000 of your precious children of all ages, backgrounds, and social strata from the coronavirus pandemic. Whether or not we have already directly experienced the pain of loss an indescribable spirit of lamentation and sorrow has fallen upon our collective American family. The sheer thought of one enough to fill any city suddenly gone numbs our minds and overwhelms our hearts. O oh God in heaven, hear our hearts cry out for the loss of those who will never be near numbers to us. They are our beloved mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, grandmothers, grandfathers, aunts, uncles, husbands, wives, children, and extended family. They are beloved fellow Americans suddenly wiped out by an invisible enemy mightier than all the world's armies. O oh, merciful Lord, we ask you to bless us all, though bless all those now shouldering heavy financial burdens from so great a loss. All this has happened, Lord God, but we have not forgotten your promise to be with us in trouble and to deliver us. Forgive the sin of our nation for the disproportionate number of people of color among the fallen, victimized by health care inequities and the unbearable burden of systemic racial injustice. In the days ahead, we ask you, Lord, to wrap loving arms around those left only with fleeting memories of warm smiles, joy-filled laughter, spirit-lifting hugs, the matchless pleasure of special days celebrated in contributions to a better world now ended. You alone, O oh God, can turn our mourning into dancing and our grief into joy over the sweet remembrance of our beloved. May you now rest their souls. In your blessed name, Lord God, we pray. Amen. How lonely sits the city that was full of people. How like a widow has she become, she that was great among the nations. O oh God, creator of the universe, we stand before you as fragile humans, made only of earthly clay and your breath. In all humanity, we hold to you all those who are sick with the coronavirus, who are COVID positive, and all those who care for them and work intimately for their healing. We name the sick and hold them in your healing light. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. A voice is heard in Rama, weeping in great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. In all humility, we turn to our God today to honor our dead. We have had no time, no space, no moment to mourn. We made promises to love and protect our families till death do us part. In their final days, we are heartbroken that we were apart from those who were dying. May they forgive us. 
may we forgive ourselves. We claim in faith that we are born from God. We live for God and we return to God. We seek rest and time in you. Hear our prayer. My companions and neighbors you have put away from me and hidden my friends out of my sight. O oh God, you are the keeper of the book of life and no one dies alone, but all under your loving gaze so that their passing is not an empty data point on death's grim graph. Let us say the names of those who have died and to remember them. Candace. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend their spirit. Hear our prayer. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Give us the gift of weeping, O God, for tears of love are always holy. It is not only our loved ones who are lost, but our jobs, our neighborhoods, our familiarity with family and graduations and classes. May our mourning, lamenting, remembering, and learning from these losses not disappear like water and sand, but push us to weep from time to time. Keep us tender-hearted, we pray. Hear our prayer. I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. As we Americans face together this unprecedented season, let love fill all our hearts so that the greatness of our nation continues to break open before us. Draw every American into the values of courage, duty, honorable action, self-sacrifice, generosity, neighborliness, responsibility, and mercy, which are the hallmarks of our country. Give us courage, O Lord. Hear our prayer. May your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. To those who have lost loved ones, we, your fellow citizens, offer you comfort, not condolence, empathy, not sympathy. As a people, we have borne this pandemic's cost in the lives of our families. As a nation, we shall honor and mourn them together. Let peace and good health prevail among all the nations, O oh God. And may it be so in our own families, communities, states, and land on this day and each day to come. These families are your families, O oh Lord. Hear our prayer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has gone, the new is here. Jesus knew what we numb ones must always learn again, that weeping must be real because endings are real, and that weeping permits newness. Christ weeping with us permits the kingdom to come. The Holy Spirit's indwelling opens us to envision a new normal, to envision an America true to her dreams, true to our native land, to have a new birth of freedom and justice for all. Lord, open our eyes to a new and holy vision that your people may be your people in the days to come. Make us brave, O oh Lord, together. Hear our prayer. Amen. God of consolation, Surely you count in heaven just as we count here on earth in shock and in sorrow, the souls sent back to you one by one, the dead from the COVID pandemic, as the ones become tens, the tens become hundreds, the hundreds become thousands, the thousands become ten thousands, and then hundred thousands, each soul a heartbreak each soul a life denied. God of wisdom, surely in the halls of divine justice, you are assembling the courts, calling witnesses to testify, to proclaim the compassion of some and the callousness of others. As we've struggled to cope, the souls taken too soon, whose funerals were lonely, who didn't need to die, who died alone, will tell their stories when you judge our triumphs 
and our failures in these hours of need. God of healing, an end to this pandemic and all illness and disease. Bless those who stand in service to humanity. Bless those who grieve. Bless the dead so that their souls are bound up in the bond of life eternal and grant those still afflicted with disease or trauma a completed and lasting healing one by one until suffering ceases and we can stop counting the dead in heaven and on earth. God of all power and love, we give thanks for your unfailing presence and the hope you provide in times of uncertainty and loss. Send your Holy Spirit to enkindle us in your holy fire. Revive us to live as Christ's body in the world, a people who pray, worship, learn, break bread, share life, heal neighbors. Bear good news, seek justice, rest and grow in the Spirit. Whenever and however we gather, unite us in common prayer and send us in common mission that we and the whole creation might be restored and renewed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the time of pandemic, and the people stayed home, and they read books, and listened, and rested, and exercised, and made art, and played games, and learned new ways of being, and were still. And they listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows. And the people began to think differently, and the people healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, mindless, and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of mankind. And we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to the earth we will return. For so you did ordain when you created us, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song. Alleluia. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord. And let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>